Sir Mokshagundam Vishweshwaraya Kcie, FASC also spelled as Sir Mokshagundam Vishweshwaraya, popularly known as Sir MV the 15th of September 1860 to the 12th of April 1962 was an Indian chief civil engineer, scholar, statesman, politician and the 19th Dewan governor of Mysore, who served from 1912 to 1919. He received India's highest honour, the Bharat Ratna, in 1955. He was knighted as a Knight Commander of the British Indian Empire KCIE by King George V for his contributions to the public good. The 15th of September is celebrated as Engineers' Day in India in his memory. He is held in high regard as a preeminent engineer of India. He was chief engineer responsible for the construction of the Krishna Raja Sagara Dam in the northwest suburb of Mysuru city and chief engineer of the flood protection system for the city of Hyderabad. <laughs> Early years Mokshagundam Vishweshvaraya was born on 15 September 1861. His father, Mokshagundam Srinivasa Sastri, was a school teacher and a noted Sanskrit scholar, while his mother, Venkatalakshama, was a homemaker. Visvesvaraya was born in Mudanahali village now located in Chikabalapura district, but part of Kolar district at the time of his birth in the princely state of Mysore now Karnataka, India. Visvesvaraya lost his father at the age of 12. He attended primary school in Bandahali Primary School, Chikbalapur and high school in Bangalore. In 1881, he received a BA degree from Central College, Bangalore, then an affiliate of the University of Madras, a rare accomplishment in the India of that era. He then enrolled at College of Engineering, Pune. He received LCE Licentiate in Civil Engineering equivalent to DCE Diploma in Civil Engineering from the University of Bombay to which the College of Engineering was affiliated. Topic career Visvesvaraya took a job with the PWD of Bombay and later was invited to join the Indian Irrigation Commission. He implemented an extremely intricate system of irrigation in Deccan. He designed and patented a system of automatic weir water floodgates that were first installed in 1903 at Kadakvasla Reservoir near Pune. These gates were employed to raise flood supply level of storage in reservoir to the highest level likely to be attained without causing any damage to the dam. Based on the success of these gates, the same system was installed at the Tigra Dam in Gwalior and Krishna Raja Sagara KRS Dam in Mandya, Mysore, Karnataka. In 1906–07, Government of India sent him to Aden to study water supply and drainage systems. The project prepared by him was implemented in Aden successfully. Visvesvaraya achieved celebrity status when he designed a flood protection system for city of Hyderabad. He was instrumental in developing a system to protect Visakhapatnam port from sea erosion. This dam created the biggest reservoir in Asia when it was built. Visvesvaraya gave his valuable technical advice for the location of Makama Bridge over Ganga in Bihar. At the time, he was over 90 years old, he was called Father of Modern Mysore State. During his service with the government of Mysore state, he was responsible for founding of under the patronage of the Mysore government Mysore Soap Factory, Parasitoid Laboratory, Mysore Iron and Steel Works now known as Visvesvaraya Iron and Steel Limited in Bhadravathi, Sri Jayashamarajendra Polytechnic, Bangalore, Bangalore Agricultural University, State Bank of Mysore, Century Club, Mysore Chamber of Commerce presently known as the Federation of Karnataka Chambers of Commerce and Industry FKCCI the Apex Chamber of Commerce in Karnataka, University Visvesvaraya College of Engineering Bangalore and numerous other industrial ventures. He encouraged private investment in the industry during his tenure as Dewan of Mysore. He was instrumental in charting out the plan for road construction between Tiryamala and Tirupati. There were no single accident and rockfall occurred till today on the road between Tiryamala and Tirupati, this shows his expertise. Once Hyderabad was affected with floods, and there was a huge loss occurred over there, then Sir M. V. constructed a dam and designed a flood protection drainage system to Hyderabad, from then onwards there are no floods in Hyderabad, so he was the person responsible for turning Hyderabad into a floodless city, this shows the highest level of quality engineer present in him. He was known for sincerity, time management, and dedication to a cause. Bangalore Press and Bank of Mysore were established during his tenure. A very important part of his nature was his love for Kannada. He set up the Kannada Parishat for the upliftment of Kannada. 
He wanted seminars for Kannada lovers to be instituted and conducted in Kannada itself. Visvesvaraya is known to have designed and planned the entire area of Jayanagar in South Bangalore. The foundation of Jayanagar was laid in 1959. It was one of first planned neighborhoods in Bangalore and, at the time, the largest in Asia. It is believed that locality, designed by Visvesvaraya, is one of the best planned layouts in Asia. Topic. Career timeline Joined service as assistant engineer in Bombay, 1885, served in Nasik, Khandesh and Pune Services lent to municipality of Sukkur in Sindh, 1894, designed and carried out the water works of that municipality, 1895 Executive engineer, Surat, 1896 Assistant Superintending Engineer, Pune, 1897 to 99, visited China and Japan, 1898. Executive Engineer for Irrigation, Pune, 1899. Sanitary Engineer, Bombay, Member, Sanitary Board, 1901, gave evidence before Indian Irrigation Commission, 1901. Designed and constructed automatic gates patented by him at Lake Fai Storage Reservoir, introduced a new system of irrigation known as the block system 1903 represented the bombay government at the simla irrigation commission 1904 on special duty 1905 superintending engineer 1907 visited egypt canada usa and russia 1908 services lent as consulting engineer hyderabad to supervise and carry out engineering works in connection with the musi floods 1909 retired from british service 1909 Chief Engineer and Secretary to the Government of Mysore, 1909 Dewan of Mysore, PWD and Railway, 1913 Board of Directors of Tata Steel, 1927–1955 Dewan of Mysore After opting for voluntary retirement in 1908, he took a foreign tour to study industrialized nations. After, for a short period, he worked for the Nizam of Hyderabad, India. He suggested flood relief measures for Hyderabad town, which was under constant threat by the Musi River. During November 1909, Visvesvaraya was appointed as chief engineer of Mysore state. Further, during 1912, he was appointed as Dewan second minister of the princely state of Mysore. He was Dewan for seven years, with the support of Krishnaraja Wodyar IV, Maharaja of Mysore. Visvesvaraya made good contribution as Dewan to the all round development of Mysore state. Not only the achievements listed above, but many other industries and public works owe their inception or active nurturing to him. He was instrumental in the founding of the Government Engineering College at Bangalore in 1917, one of the first engineering institutes in India. This institution was later named the University Visvesvaraya College of Engineering after its founder. He commissioned several new railway lines in Mysore state. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honours Visvesvaraya was appointed a Companion of the Order of the Indian Empire in 1911. In 1915, while he was the Dewan of Mysore, Visvesvaraya was knighted as a Knight Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire KCIE by the British for his myriad contributions to the public good. After India attained independence, he was awarded the nation's highest honour, the Bharat Ratna, in 1955. Sir M. V. was awarded honorary membership of the London Institution of Civil Engineers. He was awarded a Fellowship of the Indian Institute of Science based in Bangalore. He was awarded several honorary doctoral degrees including DSC, LL, D, D Lit, from eight universities in India. He was president of the 1923 session of the Indian Science Congress. He was the most popular person from Karnataka, in a newspaper survey conducted by Prajavani. On 15 September 2018, to celebrate his 157th birthday anniversary Visvesvaraya was honoured with Google Doodle. Recognition Visvesvaraya has received recognition in many fields, most notably the education and the engineering sectors. 
Visvesvaraya Technological University which is based in Belagavi to which most engineering colleges in Karnataka are affiliated has been named in his honor as well as prominent colleges like University Visvesvaraya College of Engineering Bangalore Sir M Visvesvaraya Institute of Technology Bangalore and Visvesvaraya National Institute of Technology Nagpur College of Engineering, Pune, his alma mater, has erected a statue in his honour. The Visvesvaraya Industrial and Technological Museum in Bangalore is named in his honour. Two metro stations in India, one in Bengaluru on the Purple Line, Sir M. Visvesvaraya Station, Central College, and another one in Delhi on the Pink Line, Sir Visveshwaraya Modi Bagh, have been named after him. <laughs> Memorial at Mudanahali The Visvesvaraya National Memorial Trust manages a memorial of Visvesvaraya at his birthplace Mudanahali. The memorial exhibits his awards, titles and personal belongings, including his living room, spectacles, cups, books and a block with which his visiting cards were printed. Models of the Krishna Raja Sagar Dam, which Visvesvaraya designed and supervised the construction of, are exhibited. The memorial is adjacent to his house, which was refurbished and regarded as a temple by the locals. Topic works Visvesvaraya, M. 1920, Reconstructing India, P. S. King & Son, Ltd., OCLC 2430680 Visvesvaraya, M. 1936, Planned Economy for India, Bangalore, Bangalore Press, OCLC 1937-3044 Visvesvaraya, M. 1951, Memories of My Working Life, Bangalore, OCLC 6459729 Visvesvaraya, M. Two, Unemployment in India, Its Causes and Cure, Bangalore, The Bangalore Press, OCLC 1434878 Visvesvaraya, M. Speeches, Bangalore, Govt. Press, OCLC 6258388 a Brief Memoir of My Complete Working Life, Government Press, Bangalore, 1959. 